Hey there, this is Vanessa Deverlay and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt-free. Today we're going to talk about attributes of an entrepreneur or what it takes to have an entrepreneur mindset. No matter what business that you're going in, whether it's something online or something in a brick and mortar type of business, you still have to have an entrepreneur mindset. And that's what we're going to go over today. There's 10 different um, attributes or characteristics of a entrepreneur. And the first one is to be passionate. First and foremost, entrepreneurs are extremely passionate about what they do. They have to be because they give their whole selves to it. They build their businesses from the ground up, often at a personal sacrifice, whether it's inventing a new device like Steve Jobs did with Apple or founding a groundbreaking company like Jeff Bezos did with Amazon. Entrepreneurs throw themselves mind and body into their work and, and think about what you're passionate about. If you can focus on doing work that you truly care about, you'll be more likely to find success. Now let's go to number two. Don't be afraid of hard work. And that passion needs to be there because it takes a lot of work to get a business up and running. Without passion, the work will feel tedious and you won't really find any time to enjoy it. Entrepreneurs invest a lot of time and energy into their business, blurring the line between work and home life, but they'll do whatever it takes to follow their dreams. In 1923, Henry Ford, at the founder of the Ford Motor Company, he wrote in McClure's magazine, I do not believe a man can ever leave his business. He ought to think of it by day and dream of it at night. And if you find that you're obsessed like that, that you can't get it out of your mind, then it's probably the business that is meant to be. Practice discipline. Entrepreneurs are extremely focused on their goals and they do not stray from what they have to set out to do. While they spend a lot of time on their business, they use their time wisely, planning out their day and making sure that no time is wasted. They know there are no shortcuts and that putting in the work is the only way to achieve that success. So being disciplined comes naturally to entrepreneurs, but for most people, discipline takes effort. While you don't need to be too strict, you do need to know what you want and do what you need to do to get it. So lay it out, plan your day, and just don't let the day happen. Make sure it's purposeful and focused. Number four, see challenges as opportunities. When entrepreneurs are faced with problems, they don't back down and run away and quit. Uh, they face it head on and look for ways over, under, around, or through it. While most people stress over challenges, entrepreneurs actually thrive on them. It gives them another opportunity to figure it out. There's no way to avoid setbacks in business. They're going to be there. It's guaranteed. So it's important for you to be prepared and use them as opportunities to learn and grow and not as a, a, an excuse to give up. All right, number five, challenge the status quo entrepreneurs don't accept the way things are instead they look for ways to improve things and for ways to make them better think outside the box and don't be afraid to dream big entrepreneurs don't worry about what other people think of them instead they focus on doing what they see as right and necessary to accomplish their goals so don't be afraid to challenge others when they tell you no your attitude is yes, I can do it. And then take risks. In an interview with um, Be Bezos, he said, the common question that gets asked in business is why? And it's a good question, but an equally valid question is why not? Entrepreneurs aren't afraid to do things that scare them. They get to their, they like to get their hands dirty and do things other people wouldn't think of doing. Often these those great risks will pay off. And as the saying goes, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. According to research from the Journal of Small Business and Enterprise Development, being able to bounce back from failure is a key characteristic of successful business owners. Steve Jobs, Thomas Edison, and other entrepreneurs all failed several times before finding success. And you've heard the one about Thomas Edison a thousand times, how he tried to make the light bulb and he kept failing and failing and failing. And he just saw that as one step closer to being successful. So instead of giving up, learn from your mistakes. Don't let failures keep you from continuing your work. When you make a mistake, think about the lesson that you can learn from the experience. What did I do 
that I can make it better and avoid that mistake again. Number eight, accept other people's advice. Entrepreneurs are exceptional listeners and they understand the value and perspective other people have. They know that to grow, they need to be constantly improving and looking for new ways of thinking. And that often means consulting their peers. Don't dismiss other people's comments or criticism right away. Be open to it. You may start to see your situation or business in a whole new light. In the end, yes, you're going to choose the advice that you want, but always be open to listening to other people's advice because it could help you improve. Number nine, we have two left. Look to the future. Actually, that's the last one. I apologize. There's nine. On this, on his blog, on Virgin's website, Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group, wrote, entrepreneurs can inspire new movements, create new jobs, and stimulate economies. They can encourage people to be more entrepreneurial and sow the seeds for the next generation of job creators and innovators. So entrepreneurs are always dreaming and inventing, but instead of keeping those dreams to themselves, they make them a reality. And as I just said in that in that statement, your dreams can help other people improve their lives as well. So it's not just about you as an entrepreneur, it's about making a difference. And one of the things I hope you got from this is that think about why you're doing what you're doing and who you can help in the process. And that's how an entrepreneur thinks. Um, you can click below. And I have a guide um, to help you if you're looking for a business to get into. It's a free guide to start an affiliate marketing business. It's just an overview of what it is and how it works. Um, and it gives you a blueprint of the the steps that you need to take. Um, hopefully, um, if, if you're looking for other businesses, then obviously there's tons of them out there. Um, and hopefully, I wish you good luck, but make sure you have that entrepreneur mindset as you pursue that business. Thanks for watching.